Oh, welcome to Rovers Chat. My name's Mike, and after watching a Sunday league performance from Rovers, falling 4-3 to Ipswich, it was an abject game to start with for Rovers. We managed to come back into it. It was a game of two halves because Ipswich came back. Should have probably been 4-5-1 up at half-time. Uh, they let us back in second half and ultimately we came, managed to uh, bring it back to three all only to throw it away once again with a 4-3 loss. So very difficult game to watch. It was very Sunday League-esque. Uh, Pears is obviously going to be extremely under the microscope now. Um, not that he wasn't already. It's just one of those games where every single mistake he made just got punished. He actually made quite a few saves and kept us in it in certain points. But every weak punch, every poor position, everything just seemed to go wrong for the lads. And yet we were we were punished. Um, I thought the team itself was really poor. I thought Ipswich probably should have scored quite a few more. Um yeah, I, it, it's a really difficult thing to review because I didn't see many positives. I thought Sig Sigurdsson was probably one of the big positives. His quality and his finish for the goal was fantastic because he was just so calm. And it was a shame to see him, him and uh, Moran come off at half-time because they seemed to be the ones that were the most lively for us. Um, I understand why they came off, but it was just a bit of a shame. And then second half, uh, we, we did push... Um, and and get them two goals. Dolan, I thought it was a little bit ineffectual again. It was a shame. Mark and Day looked a, a bit better, but for me, it was just that defensive performance. Pairs looking ropey at times once again. Um, Carter and Hyam, we've sung their praises on the pod, and it just seemed like they just couldn't they couldn't get it going. Hyam was giving a lot of balls away. He was missing interceptions. It was it was not the kind of performance I would really expect from him. I'd, I'd say it's actually one of the worst games he's probably played for us. Uh, Carter, um, he he didn't look like he was up to much today. Uh, Callum Britton, I thought looked quite quite bright going forward. But again, just just quite a few moments where it didn't seem to be working for him. Same with Pickering. Um, he, he just he just seemed to be not really positioning himself correctly. And then midfield. I thought the midfield is actually where we lost it today. Wharton and Travis just had probably two of their worst games that they've had in a long time. Both of them seem to be getting lost, not in the positions they need. You saw Wharton bomb forward. Not really tracking back. Uh, Travis, his quality of pass was pretty poor today. Um, Schmodix, again, he, he, he scored a great goal, but there was moments where he wasn't showing the quality he needed to show for us to get those extra um, extra lot like, chances. Um, Leonard, yeah, thought Leonard led, led it really well. Um, I thought... I mean, it's a shame the goal's not going to go down as his. It was an own goal. But what I really love about Leonard is he's pressing. He's really hassling the keeper. He hassles defenders. And their keeper was making a fair few mistakes when he was under pressure. But ultimately, um, that we wasn't punishing their mistakes. I would, I would say that the substitutions the other day killed us. Today, it seemed to actually reinvigorate us. It's a shame to see Hedges go off. It looks a pretty bad one. Um, you know, for him to drop like that, it looks like he's probably done something pretty major to his hamstring. I hope it's not a tear, but let's let's wait and see. Um, Te uh, Telovic or Telolovic or however his uh, name said, he he came on and he, he looked bright, put in a lot of effort, tried to tried to get going. Um, but again, it's just one of those moments where he was coming on in a difficult situation and just couldn't get that final um, final touch or get a, that a chance. Uh, JRC, he recovered uh, a couple of mistakes that he made, but he was relatively solid. So the subs were a little bit better. Um, but <clears throat> I think... I think the thing that we really need to look at is the defensive and goalkeeping side today. That That's where it was lost. You, you can't concede four goals in this league. Like I said, it was Sunday league. Breaking down pairs, the first goal. I'd like to actually go into this one in probably a little bit more detail, but he should have done better. But the second goal, you know, he's... He's come storming out of his goal again. It looked like Carter had it completely under control. He's passed it straight back into danger. The lad's taken a touch, 
gone forward and obviously it was a good finish to the to him. I'm not going to take that away. But once again, it shouldn't have been in that situation. Carter had it under control. There was no reason for Pears to come storming out. Uh, the third goal, yeah, it's... It's just, it's just one of those, isn't it? it it's like we, we're trying to defend pairs, like some people, like myself, are trying to defend pairs because we're, I think we're starting to feel a little bit sorry for him. But yeah, and uh, it's it, his his positioning for that third goal for me that is a confidence thing because he puts himself right in the middle of what he should be doing. He should either come straight out. Um, I mean, I do think the defender should have dealt with it, but I think he should have come straight out and actually got the ball and just come straight through the striker. And the other option was to stand his line and trust your defender and then try and react to the shot. He did neither. He just put himself in no man's land. Fourth goal, that was the killer for us. And it was such a shame because he'd made so many saves and he was looking solid again. For that second half, he he kept us in the game um, at three was three one down in the start of the second half, and he made some really nice saves. I mean, looking at he, there was eleven shots on target. Well, there's twenty nine shots in total from it, which eleven on target. You know, so he was busy, um, but then the killer. You know, we we bring it back to three all. We have chances to take the lead ourselves, but the killer won. He comes out weak punch straight back into danger, and again the lads made a good finish, but. He, Pears has really put himself in in the firing line there. Um, I said on our on our Rovers chat chat, uh, I do feel sorry for Pears. Every single mistake he makes is punished, and you look at their keeper who made similar mistakes at times, but he recovered, and that that was the difference today. Take nothing away from Ipswich. I thought they were extremely. Um, they, they had a lot of endeavour. They were extremely strong. They had pace. Um, so she, I think there's a lot of Rovers fans not happy to see George Hurst score, um, but fair play to the lad. He took the, he took his chance well, um, but yeah, I, I I do think that now we need to be looking at probably replacing uh, the goalkeeper. I don't think the defenders have any trust in him, and um, yeah, I do think going into next week we should be looking at maybe getting Volstead, especially if he has a good game in the Cup. So, yeah, I mean, leave your comments below. What's your thoughts? It, this is an instant reaction. I haven't had a chance to process it all myself, but we will be doing that in the pods on Monday. We record on Monday, so it will be out on Tuesday. Make sure you listen, like, and subscribe. Uh, Dan's going to come on and do the play ratings, so make sure you look at that. I'm pretty sure we all know what the ratings are going to be. Um, but yeah, tune into the pod on Tuesday and let us know how we uh, how we're getting on. Cheers.